Good morning, modern setters. We got a good, busy morning in front of us with cooking. We're gonna be making some homemade pancake breakfast. We gotta make some artisanal bread and some nice, delicious beef stew. Livies, you wanna help make some pancake mix? We're gonna make this pancake mix from scratch. Okay. All right. All right, I need one and a half cups of flour. So I need two of them. Okay. All right, I know I'm gonna get the hate comments in the comments, so let me show you something. Olivia has a nice, beautiful stool but she says she's big enough and she don't want to use it. So quit picking on me, she's got a stool. We need one teaspoon of sugar. Says one tablespoon of sugar. One tablespoon, whew, good catch. There you go. Good job. Now we're gonna let that sit while we work on the beef stew for lunch. Okay. Okay. We got some friends coming over this afternoon for lunch. So we're gonna make up a nice, hearty, delicious beef stew. We're gonna start with ground pork. Wanna brown the gr ground meat up. Gonna add in some Himalayan salt. Some minced garlic. One big tablespoon. I'm gonna add in half a cup of onions. Actually, we don't have much left in the can, so we're going to use that up. All right, now that it's all browned up,
go, that's fine. A teaspoon of oregano. Of onion powder. Gina peeled and chopped all the veggies last night, and then we leave them in water overnight in the fridge. Add some corn in. Some red peppers. Just a little. Just for flavoring. <laughs> Add in some homemade chicken stock. We made that last night too. Yeah. And we just dump in Whatever the amount we think. Yeah, we just eyeball how much liquid we think we want. We usually want more than what it calls for. You ready to finish making breakfast now? Yeah. All right. First, there you go. So, how much milk? One and a fourth. They are, so we're going to use two of them. Like a pro. Alright, I'm going to do the next part just because I got a small mixing bowl. Yeah. And I don't want to make a big old mess. Hear my belly? Yeah. Saying it's breakfast time. Yeah, I know. Mine is too. Saying, give me some pancakes and some fresh maple syrup. Yeah. Yeah. Is that good? You can go when it's cold. Yeah. Look at you, master pancake maker and flipper. Boom. Oh, look how golden they are. Man. Good thing I'm hungry. So focused you can't talk, can you? Mm -hmm. The pancakes got your tongue? Has the pancake got your tongue? Yeah. <sighs> this one's hard. It's a big one. Yeah. Oh, and she got it. Perfect.
Maple cam. Maple cam. You ready for some syrup? Yep. Do you want some blueberries? Yes, please. Do you want them on it or beside it? Um, um, please. No more? Yeah. Can I have to clean up the mess? You can clean up the mess. We'll let you. Right, Libby's? Yeah, I'm clean it up. You guys make the mess, I clean it up. Right. Yeah, could you please clean it up? I can't really get it. Oh, I can't. You want daddy to do it? <laughs> Why? Because <laughs> you're the cleaner up and we're the ice makers. <laughs> Alright, mom's lucky she gets to eat her pancakes. <laughs> got six tablespoons of butter melted. I need to add six tablespoons of flour. Get a nice paste and this is what's gonna thicken up our stew. I find that if I thicken up a little bit at a time and then put it in the stew that I'm making or whatever I want to thicken up, I find this works the best. So now that it's thickened up, I'll keep adding a little bit more at a time and then I'll add the whole thing into the stew. It's kind of like a science experiment, Libby's. Mm -hmm. How much um, broth are you going to add in? Well, that's going to be my last one. I'm going to dump it right into the stew and thicken the whole thing up. If I add too much in here, I'll be making a mess while mm -hmm. I'm stirring. Yeah. That just means more to clean up. We don't want that, do we? Nope. All right. Depending on how much butter and flour you need, depends on how big of a pot to stew. We've got quite a bit here. We used, I don't know, three quarters of a gallon of broth, so I know we have a lot to thicken. Mmm, looks delicious. Delicious. We're gonna go have some good, beautiful, delicious stew and bread with our friends. So we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye.